A family in Nanaimo is also looking for your help tonight to try to track down whoever shot their dog in the head with a pellet gun. The problem is they do not know when it happened or where. At a recent vet visit, the pellet was discovered lodged in the dog's skull, but that wasn't all. The x-ray also revealed that the dog had a tumor and the family had to make a difficult decision. CTV's Steve Coulterman reports. Dr. Colin Jerome is in his 21st year as a veterinarian at the Ladysmith Animal Hospital. In that time, he has taken care of thousands of patients. But earlier this month, he saw something he rarely comes across. A dog named Sneaky was brought in by her owners after a lump appeared on her head. She seemed to respond to antibiotics, um, but then it did not get better. So we saw it again, decided, well, we'll take an x-ray. In taking the x-ray, we found that there was a pellet lodged in the temporalis muscle, the, the main muscle, the muscles for chewing in the head. Um, but the pellet was actually on the opposite side of the swelling. Sneaky became very sick. She was unable to swallow and was throwing up everything she ate. Two weeks ago, her owners made the tough decision to put her down. She saw a neurologist, and he felt that there was probably there was probably cancer going on and that the swelling in the head was part of that tumor, but there was also a tumor maybe uh, that had spread to other parts of the brain, affecting the ability to swallow, that then affected the nerves in the esophagus. Do you so, feel any of those issues leading to that had anything to do with the pellet? No. I don't. The vet couldn't find a puncture wound or any indication of when the dog was shot. The Ladysmith RCMP are now taking action, asking for your help. They want to track down whoever shot Sneaky before it happens again. A lot of our um, serious, dangerous offenders, uh, before they do act like that with people, a lot of times they uh, start out with uh, animals because it's a lot easier to get away with it. Uh, animals don't speak out like people do. Sneaky was elected years old and until last month she was a healthy dog. The family doesn't know when she was shot or by whom, but they fear someone came on their property and wounded the dog. That's one of the things that hurts us the most is to think that that somebody would have shot some an animal like that because she trusted everyone and she probably saw somebody and thought that they were going to give her a pat or a a treat or something like that and went to see them. With little to go on, RCMP are hoping someone will come forward with information that leads to Sneaky's attacker. Steve Coulterman, CTV News, Nanaimo.